Well, Mark, welcome to Durham. Hopefully, you start you'll join the club. Yeah, no, it's unbelievable. I'm really happy to be here and to have the last couple of days with the boys um, with a couple of good sessions. Um, so, leading into this game, uh, the boys are really excited and I can't wait to get out there. In terms of this move to Durham, it's obviously came around fairly quick. Just explain the process of getting to Durham and getting that contract signed. Uh, yeah, so I was in India probably three weeks ago, then Mark North gave me a call when I was back home in Australia and uh, mentioned that I'm a chance to come over here then ever since then um, this would happen real quick so I probably arrived uh, on, on Saturday so I've had probably four or five days here to get over jet lag and had a couple of good sessions so yeah ready to go. Here we are at Hove, the country championship season gets underway tomorrow. Your first spell in professional cricket here in England, how excited are you for this opportunity? Yeah really pumped, um, the boys back home speak so highly of um, county cricket and, and uh, the standard um, of, of the game is so high with like obviously Bajara for Sussex and so coming against them players and obviously in our team there's some world class players there so it's going to be really exciting to, to play with them and against them great players. You mentioned you arrived on Saturday, you've had a few days to settle in, get to the North East, how have them first few days been? Yeah it's been awesome, I, um, I trekked out to Newcastle and, and Durham and checked out That's uh, both them uh, towns so no, it was awesome, uh, really friendly people and, and yeah just yeah, really really nice part of the world. Touching on Newcastle, Newcastle Man United on Sunday, you experienced a bit of the atmosphere in Newcastle, what was that like? Yeah, unbelievable. I think every time um, the boys talk about like the, the big soccer game, football games here, um, I've always been one of my dreams to go to one of them. So um, no, the atmosphere is unbelievable and like the, this diehard fans. We've had a lot of sunshine, but it's been pretty cold. How's that been in terms of getting used to the temperatures? Yeah, it's chilly. I've got myself a couple of packets of hand warmers ready for this game. So um, no, I say I'll get used to it in the, after this game. So um, no, it's all part of the experience. You've had a couple of days training with the lads. How's that been beating your new teammates, get, getting settled in? Yeah, awesome. I think the, some of the boys back home spoke real highly of the, the boys at Durham and, and the coaching staff, and, and yeah, they've been great so far. Made me feel really welcome, and um, yeah, just been able to, to train and again, sort of get, get off to a good start. In terms of this summer, obviously we have the Ashes coming up, but looking beyond that, how valuable and beneficial will this be for your experience playing in England, learning new conditions for your future, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's massive for me, um, for my growth as a player. Um, any, type, any type of uh, experience like this playing in England or wherever it is is, um, is vital for me. And um, So I'm just really excited to, to sort of just for a new challenge and uh, play against these type of players and play with some really good players and just learn on the go. And just finding them up. The past few months have been pretty crazy for you. Your test debut, pretty impressive uh, series in India. Just reflect on, on that as a, as a whole. Yeah, that was amazing. Um, that series was was unbelievable and a dream come true to represent my country in test cricket. So um, no, that was awesome and I've, I've learned a lot just from that series. So and um, yeah, hopefully I can take some of the stuff I learned over there into into um, into the county cricket over here.